All right, you ready? Here we go. Welcome aboard. Our plane captain has just released us, and our director is now telling us to come forward and turn left or port as we leave the point, which is on the forward starboard side of the ship, just outboard of Catapult 1. We're turning left now, following our director. We used our left 10, 11 o'clock, right off the nose now as we're coming forward. Coming forward, taxing over elevator one. Coming forward, little right turn, more right turn. Coming forward, coming forward. Just got past a new director, it's right off the nose. Kind of hard to see, right behind the HUD. There he is, coming forward, right turn. Right turn, coming forward, coming forward, a little more right turn. Watching that wingtip, coming forward. He's passing us off to another director. So the left side, he's telling us to come forward and we should turn left just about now. There it is. There he is, coming forward, coming forward. More left turn, and forward. More left turn, coming forward, all right. You can see Hawkeye at our left 10 as we continue to taxi down the LA. Just beyond that, just inboard of the tower or the island, you see a bunch of Seahawk helicopters and another Hawkeye just beyond that by the junkyard. As we continue to taxi down the LA, we're passing the waste catapults off our right wing. Taxiing over the four wire now, little right turn. Directors over there, a left, 11 o'clock. Taxing over the three wire now, a little bumpy. He's handing us off to another director on the right side. Can't quite see him yet. The director is telling us to turn right, turn right, turn right, roll out. Coming forward now, being careful not to get too close to that F 18 box trot that we see off our left wing. Coming to right, come forward. Nice and slow now, coming forward. Coming forward, right turn, right turn, right turn, right turn, come forward, come forward, come forward, one more to the right, and stop. Parking brake set, signature move, feeling better now, Whew. and relax. Let's fast forward the jam about a minute. All right, all right. Welcome aboard the flight deck of the United States ship Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71. We're currently conducting flight ops in the Northern Arabian Gulf. We're on month three of a combat deployment where we're working 12 on and 12 off, six days a week with a little bit of a light day on Sunday. We're currently on cycle five of a 10 cycle day. Combat sorties have launched from cycles one and four. So for this cycle, we're just executing unit level training sorties as well as DCA or defensive counter air sorties to keep mom safe in case anybody gets a little bit too close. And we're also launching tankers to facilitate recovery efforts overhead the ship. Today you may have noticed that I'm wearing a fancy helmet, what we call the Jehemex helmet or the Joint Helmet Mount and Queuing System helmet, which allows air crew to queue sensors and high off bore sight weapons via the helmet's line of sight. This helmet incorporates both day and night vision capable modes Navigation and performance information is also displayed via symbology similar to the font and the placement in the HUD. And you can see I have the HUD repeater up on the left EDI. Basically those images and symbology are projected onto the visor of the helmet. Like an avatar plugging his tail into the tree of souls, on the back of my helmet you see a long cord that's routed down my left side and plugs into the mission computers behind my left thigh. This helmet in conjunction with the APG-79 radar, provides the pilot and the EWO with a tremendous amount of situational awareness. Today, another growler and I are practicing beyond visual range intercepts, or BVR intercepts. So the helmet, in conjunction with the APG-79 radar, is gonna allow the pilot to pick up tally of the bandit at the maximum possible range. All right, back to the jam. You may have noticed while I was talking that the recovery tanker on Catapult 3 had just launched. Generally, recovery tankers are going to launch first so that they can get airborne and consolidate the fuel with the tanker airborne already. It's going to recover in this cycle. As the aircraft in front of us in Catapult 4 is about to power up, you can see me adjust the time on my watch. 
Repeated cat launches and traps will sometimes have their effect on the mechanical components of watches. So every now and then, you got to go and adjust them just to make sure that you're still on time. All right, so the aircraft in Cat 4 is up on the power, and you can see it and feel it in the jet, even though we're behind the JBD. The pilot's wiped out the controls, and you can see his rudders are towed in. And the Super Hornet rudder tow ins used to improve aircraft rotation during catapult shot, takeoff, or bolter. With weight on wheels, the rudders are towed in to 40 degrees, and this tow in literally goes away to zero degrees tow in as the aircraft starts to fly. All right, we're coming forward now. We've been passed off to a new director who's at about a right one o'clock or so. We'll start that right turn, right turn, right turn. There he is, right off the nose. Coming forward, coming forward, coming forward. A little to the right, a little more to the right. Coming forward, coming forward, coming forward, coming forward. A little more. Steam goes over to the director, so I'm going to slow down if I can't see him. Now we see him come forward. Come forward a little left and stop. Launch bar down. Director points to his nose and points to my left, telling me to move my launch bar to the left a little bit. So I'm going to gauge nozzle steering, kick it over to the left. And now my launch bar is in the nose gear launch track, lined up so we can put it in the shuttle. You can see they're getting the aircraft on Catapult 3 ready. JB is up behind him. Coming forward now. Coming forward. Coming forward, coming forward. Launch bar is going down the track up to the shuttle, but we won't go over into tension until the aircraft in Catapult 3 launches. And stop. As we look over towards Catapult 3, you can see right off the nose, just beyond the HUD, the shooters are talking to the Catapult center deck operator who's working in that little hatch over there. They're verifying that the aircraft type and gross weight are correct for the CSV or capacity selector valve settings for the Catapult. Trying to get my mirrors just right. Let me see, yep. ah, right there. It's gonna take, was that a camera? Oh, yep, camera, okay, it's still there. I think it's a little, yep, there. Ah. Okay, cool, looks good. Looks like the jet on Cat 3 is just about ready to go. One thing's kind of interesting about this launch from this angle is that you can see on the catwalk, right in front of the improved Fresnel lens, on the left side, you can see a green shirt with his hand up in the air. He's the catapult operator. He's the guy that's actually going to push the button. So the shooters run up the jet. The pilot wiped out the controls. The shooter will make sure everything looks good. Return the salute to the pilot. Squat, point towards the bow of the ship. The catapult operator is going to look left, look right, push the button. Fly Navy. Little signature move. We're going to repeat the same sequence for us, except our catapult operator is just going to be a little closer to us, just outside of our left mirror at about our left 10 o'clock. Our catapult operator is talking to the catapult center deck operator in the hatch, making sure that the catapult settings are correct with aircraft type and gross weight for the shot. He's going to signal for us to move forward by putting his hand up in the air with the finger up like that. It's a signal to the director to move our aircraft forward. The director's telling us to come forward now, so I'm going to release the parking brake, come up on the throttle just a little bit as we bring our launch bar over the shuttle and into tension. We're in tension now, there's a hand signal, feet are off the brake, parking brake is in. Okay, he tells us to run it up, throttle comes up. Mill power, wiping out the flight controls, looking at the FCF, making sure it looks good, going to max power, motors look good, blends look good, everything looks good, hand salute to the shooter. Shooter's looking over one more time, the catapult operator on our left 10 or so, he's got his hands up in the air, looks left, looks right, pushes the button, fly Navy. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the jam, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Buy me a beer. The details in the description. Welcome to World Growler Jams. Signature Mouth.